listeners, welcome to your daily cup of coffee with Charu, where hopefully with a hot cup of coffee, we discuss how to tackle the day and the week ahead based on the astrological aspects that are dominating the sky. Yesterday, I briefed you on the Mars-Neptune square that's dominating the sky this week and it's happening at the point where the solar eclipse of 10th of June will bring about a new beginning. We all have been discussing solar eclipses bring about fated changes. The changes that would normally take years and years to happen, solar eclipses bring about that all of a sudden. But there is a build up to the solar eclipse and this aspect is very much part of a build up to the solar eclipse of 10th of June in Gemini and Mars is right now standing at the very degrees where that eclipse is about to happen. Today, after a brief introduction, we are going to dig into your specific zodiac sign and see how this impacts you. You can catch me on YouTube as well as across the podcast platforms, Anchor, Spotify. I will leave the links in description for you so you can access this episode also through the podcast platforms. My name is Charu and I'm your host on this journey. So let's dig in. As I mentioned in my post and podcast yesterday, Mars square Neptune will become exact on 9th of April and it would be felt most of this week. Mars is our drive and Neptune tends to slow it down. But there is a hindrance for a more effective and inspired action that this aspect is trying to highlight to us before we go blazing into the eclipse season with a faded shift in our life. The 10th June eclipse would be starting a new chapter at the point where this aspect is happening right now. So understanding this aspect and the dissonance that it is creating this week, the purpose behind that dissonance is very important for you to have the right kind of beginning on 10th of June solar eclipse. North Node or Rahu has already visited and activated this eclipse in January of 2021. We have already experienced the activation of this new beginning, whether we are aware of it or not. Some of the things might be happening behind the scene and we may not be fully aware of. They will fully come out and the physical manifestation of it will fully come out to light during the June eclipses. But the activation of the eclipse already began in January of 2021. Mars right now standing at that very point in Gemini dares us to do the right thing before we enter the physical manifestation phase of that period of that eclipse. With Neptune, Mars is trying to put the inspiration behind our action, the right inspiration behind the actions that we're going to take. A collective goal, some faith behind our actions and making sure that we're going after something with the right purpose behind it. Sometimes we reach where we thought we wanted to go only to realize later on that is not the destination we truly wanted to get to and Neptune is trying to make sure that we understand that what we are going after is truly our purpose, truly our desire. Neptune dissolves social, political, religious and personal boundaries as well that block our collective growth. And they block the birth of a new societal ideal. So Neptune is trying to dissolve all of those hindrances and those boundaries that block that birth within ourselves as well. It teaches us to have faith in the unknown. So if we are trying to take the practical route, the easy route. Neptune is going to try to stop us in the tracks. It teaches us to have faith in the unknown, to aim higher, aim for a higher purpose, higher road. It teaches us to love unconditionally, allow the barriers to disintegrate and act out of a place of pure inspiration to contribute to the society versus for ego gratification or for fitting in into the society and our surrounding. It undermines the success 
which comes without service to the collective and without service to your own soul. It is trying to keep you honest to your own soul's purpose. Nothing is done fully for altruistic purposes, but Neptune demands that our motivations aren't inspired by pure ego boost or societal pressure. A very creative aspect is currently happening and it makes us sensitive to both our soul's purpose as well as to the collective need and styles. So what we create is made out of pure love. It is made from a place of wanting to channel our soul. And there is an element of self-transcendence over here where we don't necessarily keep ourselves and our ego gratification as the front of what we are trying to do. What we hold at the front of our mind when we are going after something, when Neptune is aspecting it, is a higher purpose. And that is bound to touch others on a deeper in a deeper way and it will serve the collective in a much much more meaningful way so let's put some meat on the bones now by looking at your sign and as usual check your rising sign that is the key indicator and if you're able to check the sun and the moon sign for a fuller picture but rising sign would be the key indicator for how this aspect is playing out for you so let's dig in Pisces, the June 2021 eclipse is a critical one for you. That's happening on 10th of June 2021 as it initiates a new phase in a critical axis which rules your home, psychological and physical home, family and country of living. There's a new phase which is starting in your home, family, place of living area of your chart. You might be looking to relocate or embellish your home or add a new member to your family, acquire a new property, sell an existing property, or start a home-based business. This is a faded new start which might have been seeded already around December of last year or January of this year. That's when some faded even might have prompted it. But its full physical manifestation would only happen in June. And right now, you might be laying down some groundwork for it. An important family matter might need your attention before you get to this new start. All these changes are focusing on making you feel more secure and more comfortable. And they're going to grow you even further psychologically. Your road to success this year, Pisces, is to find that home within or outside so you can stabilize the ground you stand on a bit. You might be very intent on having it certain way or in a certain place. Uh, there might be multiple choices that are available to you. There might it can be beyond a property as well. It could be you setting up um, maybe some entertainment system or some sort of decoration at home, getting books, getting library, getting different sets of additions done to your living place. And you might be looking to create more lively place, more engaging place at work. You might be adding certain gadgets, uh, communication devices at in your home as well. There might be some changes when it when it relates to fixed property, fixed assets that you have as well. And you might be uh, you know looking to make a change in that. And this is all happening in line with your desires, in line with your needs, in line with you and your family being made comfortable. But there might be something that blocks you from getting there. It's an internal conflict. It could be a very potent one as it rocks your critical axis. This is normally driven by the fact that with Neptune, you're trying to still redefine who you are, who you want to become. It's like, you know, when Neptune is right now and it has been in your sign since 2011 and it will stay there till 2026. Neptune is your ruling planet and it dissolves your old identity. So you're sort of in that cocoon phase where you're still trying to figure out your boundaries. You're still trying to redefine who you are. And in that, from that place, it's difficult to form what we call home or a stable ground. We 
tend to do too much for others in in this ways or we sometimes even forget what we want for ourselves you can almost feel guilty for taking the smallest of the step of self care in some ways or taking care of yourself and your loved one might be coming in the way of your ability to pursue your life goal and path right now as your life path is still undecided still being redefined and elevated it might be a little bit difficult to do things to to fix things when it comes to your home and family you are an ideal dreamy sensitive person and those who need you flock around you but in that process very little is sometimes left for you for yourself mars is your own drive it is hell bent on getting you peace in any way possible but neptune cannot stop thinking of everybody else neptune is you it's your personality it's how you live your life it's rule it it rules you and it's in your sign right now it dominates it makes you charming it makes you even more accessible to people it makes you your boundaries much lower it makes you available at a soul level to others but at the same time what about filling your cup what about filling your secure zone so you might find these two at conflict with each other right now it's possible that there needs to be a direct discussion with somebody it could be a family member it could be a mother it could be the uh, you know the the person that you live with not confrontational but direct they may not yet understand that you are not the same person anymore and your hopes and dreams have changed neptune has dissolved your old self image and your old path you and your life as they knew it is changing and any new change in your home and family needs to reflect that you may not clearly know where life is going but you know for sure that it isn't going to the same place it was or to the same old life patterns so if the people in your life who are your stable core who are your family who are your base they're still the same but they cannot register that change yet there could be some dissonance some conflict which is created as a result of that there is more to you that meets the eye and you have seen it and you want to be that your life path is more it is more spiritual it is elevated it has a higher purpose it may not be clear in its detail but you know it's out there it's out of your and your family's comfort zone possibly home life can either quash that dream or grow this new individual identity of yours that's emerging you would like your home life to support it so this hurdle which might have been you might have avoided before needs to be handled in some ways it's, it's almost like when our spiritual values conflict with our parents in some ways our elevated values conflict with our home country or the people at home or our ability to create home you want to have a different dream a different vision of your life and that's in conflict with your personal life in some way neptune always directs us to use the path of love and compassion in such tough discussions because it's not them it's you who has changed that is a fact this could be yourself you need to have that discussion with it could be within yourself you need to convince yourself because sometimes you know this external hurdle that we think our family is putting up or people in our life are putting up it's actually our own comfort zone the home within our own self that is pulling us back and we use sometimes people as the excuse to go back to that comfort zone and the regressive urges they pull us back to the old home what is safe and what is secure is being redefined for you and for your for your loved ones your home needs to have colors of your new personality your personal life needs to have the colors of who you're becoming once you feel secure within yourself you would feel more rigor to go after your new unpredictable life path this is not dull this is very interesting but it's very confrontational and needs to be handled with compassion with love with care because as i said it's you who decided to change it's you who decided to elevate your path it's you who wants more out of life 
So the people in your life who are your stable core, who are your home, who are your family, who have been in your life supporting you, bringing you up, standing next to you, it might, before a new phase has started, you have to bring them to the same level of understanding that you have, the same vision that you have of life. Similarly, your place of living needs to be in accordance with this new path you're pursuing. You've taken on a new journey. So even the decoration of your house needs to be in line with that on a mundane level. People who you live with, with place you live in, you know, where you sort of, where you decide to, whether you decide to have a, you know, a office at home, it needs to reflect that. And it has to be in line with who you are as a personal, uh, as a person, the beauty that Pisces as a sign have. So having those Piscean symbols in the house, which is usually what, <coughs> excuse me, water features essentially, or living close to water in some ways, or working close to water in some ways. That, that is supposed to be part of color of your personality that needs to come out as well that needs to make you feel that you're in your skin that your surroundings and the people in your life reflect who you're becoming and not who you were and this aspect specifically is playing out around 19 degree to 22 degree which is around if you're a Pisces sun around 10th to 12th of March I would highly recommend to be a little bit careful of your immunity especially during the time right now as well as during the eclipse in June just make sure that you bump up your immunity a little bit because Neptune is in your sign and it's at 22 degree right now which is around 12th of March born or if you have rising around 22 degree you need to specially take care of that be a little bit careful of your immunity just bump it up because it takes away a little bit of um, minerals from your body it leaches minerals because it's reducing your boundaries with others spiritually and physically so we are very easily um, affected by energy of the other people and that's why your surroundings and your home needs to reflect who you're becoming because you take and absorb that energy very very fast the energy of the surroundings and the office and the people in your surrounding is very easy very easily adapted by you because you are in an open state. Universe has opened you up to become something different. We are being dissolved in terms of our identity and boundaries are generally lowered at that time. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. What an exciting new start though. Every time we get a new start, a new beginning, North Node in our house of home and family, our security, our base, the things and places and home that brings comfort to us it's enhanced it's embellished it it fills our cup yet again so we can pursue the new goals that we have set for ourselves so good luck for that and i'll see you in the next video now thank you